All right, so I just want to make this full video just to kind of give you guys my journey and everything following up to me choosing to grab to get a colonoscopy because with a lot of young people I think that um, health really isn't um, relevant when you're super young and it's just like I think you know it's it's because I mean nothing much is really going on when you're young you're not feeling this pain or that pain or whatever um, but you know you keep living life like that and eventually it kind of catches up or you kind of just don't question certain symptoms and realize later you know something serious so for me you know I've always had stomach issues and you know I never thought to get anything diagnosed or see what's wrong because as far as I know my whole family my mom my sister they have bad stomachs and I just and also do you understand like with guys for some reason we like it's normal to like eat a meal and then 20 minutes later fucking shit your brains out like this is completely normal so when I'm looking at that I'm just like well shit man that shit's a same here you know and it's normal um but you know i mean i've always terrible stomach just you know when i was super young super young if i could remember god i just get anxiety i'd get worried about overthink something my stomach would start aching aching painful um um and then you know just also just eating meals and just diary right after like normal 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 things to me like some like ibs type behavior basically um so i've always been like that always been like that um and then just you know eating eating whatever i wanted whatever i wanted um was something that it's really something that happened after i made a little bit of money when I, when I turned 16, I got to make my own money. I started getting to eat out. So it became a habit. I, I ate out everywhere. <laughs> Everything I could try knew I, I wanted to. I wanted to get that out there and enjoy stuff, you know. Which is totally fine, you know. It's not something that I feel you should be penalized for. But ultimately, the food that we're eating here, you know, the food we're eating is, is not the best, you know. There's a lot of stuff in there that... You know, it's kind of, it's a little bit, um, it's, um, um, don't know how to say it. Don't, can't think of the right word. Just, um, it's not the healthiest. Um, seed oils, this, that, etc. Um, so, you know, I believe that a lot of these things have effects in the long run you know a lot of this eating out and stuff but yeah so basically you know i binged on just eating out every day which i i'm sure had some effects you know and i never never thought about it never thought you know something more serious would come from it um basically where i'm at right now is i'm having crazy crazy constipation just like out of just kind of almost it feels like out of nowhere um maybe it's not though you know maybe i just wasn't paying attention to too much too much attention to it so you know constipation um got a hemorrhoid that i could see i don't have a hemorrhoid um sucky part for the part i don't want to have to i don't want to be able to say but it's true you know i've seen some blood in my in my stool so <laughs> and some flattening some some flat stools or whatever from what i've from what i can tell um so i I wish to get a colonoscopy to see what's going on.
and that's 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 what led up to up to this whole thing I, I it sucks like i i wish things weren't this way but it's for the best uh, i shouldn't worry too much um it's um it's to prevent anything you know make sure nothing serious is going on and to you know if if there is you catch it early and you have a better fighting chance so it's all i so it's, it's all i should be thinking about you know a lot of people get them a lot of people get them to prevent to a lot of people who has you know gut problems you know they're all knowledgeable about you know the fact that they should go get things checked out because they're not predisposition but i mean in a way i guess yeah i just never thought about it that way i never thought because i did how, i lived however i wanted man but it comes to bite you in the ass at the end of the day i was fucking over drinking soda eating too unhealthy like it's not a it's not a damn big ass surprise you know but something you gotta just think about, you know? Just what if, what if this happens? What if that happens? What if this causes that? Cause you never know, you never know. You shouldn't drink too much soda. You shouldn't, you shouldn't eat out every day. I know that now. So all I'm doing now is I'm, all I drink is water smoothies, juices, healthy fruit stuff. Um, you know, healthy fruit smoothies, stuff like that. I don't know that, I don't know what's gonna, I don't know what the outcome is. It sucks. I don't know what's, what it's gonna be, I don't. But your brain, your brain goes to the worst, worst diagnosis worst diagnosis so I, I just you know i hope to god you know everything's fine everything's good everything comes out okay <sighs> at the end of the day i mean i'm just happy nothing really runs in my family in terms of um terminal so something terminal but you know i mean part of me thinks it doesn't matter <laughs> We live in a world where, you know, chemicals and shit is pushed into the air. And basically, we live in a world where chemicals fucking get cancer from, chem chemicals, cancer from the shit you eat, like, stress. Stress can give you cancer, so it's like... For me, it's like, well, all I did was fight. All I did was stress and eat not good, eat eat terrible. So I mean, Jesus, your body can only take so much. Body can only take so much, and I have to stop stressing. I have to stop worrying. I have to stop thinking about the future where things are gonna go wrong. Or I, I gotta stop. So I was little. All I've done was. So I was little, all I've had was anxiety. I've always had anxiety. So I was fucking small. So, I, you know, I'm happy to make this video because, God, man, I've, I've gone through it all. I can be so, I can be helped to so much. I can be so much help to younger people. Like, guys, you know, I, if you're going through anything like this, like, like just let me know. Like, I am... The perfect person to really, you know, share this stuff. A lot of people don't have these problems. They, they live in a world where, you know, everything's never really been went wrong for them. So they, they never think in bad ways. All they got is just good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. And I'm not saying everybody's life is perfect, but I'll tell you one thing person that's had anxiety since since day one and has had toxic alcoholic drug abusive parents 
um, jump from house to house, never had any balance, lights turned off, water turned off, cable turned off, back and forth, always, just always, you never knew something was going to last, um, parents just always fought, there's no, inconsist there's no consistency, so it causes you to really grow up quite, um, just with the issues, you know, deeper issues that, that don't lie on the surface. Just issues where you got some, you got a problem and you don't even know it because it's so subconscious, it's just built in you. Trust issues, issues where you don't want to put your own emotions and feelings and real raw ones outside. So other people can see because you don't want them to know how you're feeling. You don't want them to know you're mad. You don't. You don't want to be a. You don't want to be a damn. You don't want to be a issue to others. You don't want to be an inconvenience to others. It's like you're valuing other people over yourself. It's just weird, man. I've had all of these problems. I'm always trying to work on them. Always. It's just you never know how much things are going to get better. Or, or it's just... Yeah, it's difficult. It's really difficult, but... I'm the type of person... I mean, I'm always... I work, I work hard. I'm a little lazy, I can't lie. I'm the typical... Gen Z lazy. Just want to lay down and not do shit. Like, take out the trash. But as far as working... <laughs> I was young, I knew, I, knew, I knew how to work. So I've been working since I was 16. You know, I like to get my money. Um, I work hard wherever I can, however, wherever, whatever plus place I'm, in, I'm at, you know, I, I like to work hard, um, you know? So, you know, I've been promoted. I've done a lot of things, good things in my time. Um, only 20, it's pretty weird to have lived only 20 years, but feel like you've lived eight and fucking 40. 50 years because I mean I feel like I've stressed enough for two two people enough for fucking three probably in my, my timeline in my lifetime because you know working trying to pay my bills you know living alone at 18 like trying to pay everything trying to make sure everything's set I mean, and then trying to get promoted and eventually getting promoted and promoted again and then dealing with higher, dealing with issues that, you know, you need to take care of for the company, whatever location you're working at, at the end of the day, that's what you got, you signed up for. So I really took it, I took it to another level. I took it too far. I, I worried and stressed too much about the outcomes and want to get in trouble and just stupid shit stupid things where it's like dude what's the point don't even worry why are you worrying for like things have to be a certain way they gotta be a certain way it's gonna it is what it is i wish i was never i wish i didn't have to deal with it but i wish i didn't have to i wish i didn't do that all that worrying and stressing but there's days i was at work just outside of my body just anxious to my toes just outside of this world worried and stressed and anxious and it's just like it's inside of you it's it's deep in your muscles your bones like it's all anxiety it's like so some problems work they're just built in you they're not anything you really choose to do but um yeah, I'm gonna post this video. Um, yeah, not right, cool.